Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the GDU M10,000. As the name suggests, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank slash battery pack. What makes it unique is it has two features. First, there's a Qi or wireless charging contact point on the front. So if you have, uh, let's say, the iPhone 10 or another flagship that has built-in wireless charging, you can simply set it down onto the charger and it will quickly juice up without wires. Secondly, there's also a dock or a stand that you can slide out from the edge and it can pop up the phone as it's charging or you can use it to watch movies. A pretty neat uh, kickstand feature built right on in. The price of this power bank is also rather Rather affordable. It comes in at under $30, sometimes goes as low as $25, uh, so it's about the same as what you would pay for a regular 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack, but this one again has all these uh, unique features built in. So I wanted to pick one up and see how well it actually performed. Uh, in terms of some other specifications, it claims to have quick charging built on in. We'll have to see if it's actually Qualcomm's quick charge uh, standards. Uh, obviously, you can also use USB if you don't want to use the uh, wireless charging mat on the top. And underneath here, there's also a thank you card, an instruction manual that documents how to set it up and how to start uh, using it. And down below, there's also a micro USB cable for charging up the battery pack itself. It takes roughly five hours to completely charge up this battery pack. And afterwards, if you have a average sized Android smartphone that has roughly, let's say a 3000 milliamp hour capacity battery, you'll be able to get roughly three charges out of this thing before you need to recharge it again. One of the benefits of this particular design uh, on first impressions is really how slim and small uh, it is. So if we do a quick size comparison. Here is the Xiaomi Redmi 4X. This is a five inch smartphone. So in terms of dimensions, very similar to a five inch phone. And in terms of thickness, a little bit thicker, but still slides easily into pockets as well as into backpacks. Uh, it does definitely has a very interesting look. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, Google Pixel or Pixel 2 because it has this two-tone design. The top, which is made out of this glossy plastic material, attracts a little bit of fingerprints. And the bottom, which is made out of a soft touch rubber, making it easier to grip and it prevents it from sliding around on the surface if you're just putting a phone down on it to begin the wireless charging. Otherwise, behind this glossy plastic, there's also a small LCD display that can give you a reading of how much percentage of the power is left and also the output port that's being used. There are two USB uh, ports uh, that uh, can give power up to 5 volt 2.1 amps, which is sufficient to charge even larger tablets, uh, something like the iPad, that requires more than just one amp. Uh, so fairly impressive that they pack two charging ports, which you can use simultaneously, in addition to the Qi charger, so you can charge up to three devices is at the same time. Uh, obviously that will drain the battery very quickly, but at least you do have that option. In the center here, there's a micro USB port for charging up the battery pack itself. And on the back, there are some very basic specifications about the unit. Uh, and finally, this is the kickstand. You can slide it out like so. It's a mechanical switch and it pops up this little door, which then allows you to pop up a smartphone on the edge like this uh, for watching videos. Now, when I was uh, using this previously for a quick test run, uh, one thing I noticed is the door doesn't open quite as much as I you know, would have preferred. It only opens up uh, to this position, which is fine if you have a rather slim phone such as an iPhone 6, 7, 8, or 10. But if you have, let's say, an Android phone, especially one which has a thicker battery uh, or a larger capacity battery, then it oftentimes won't fit into this uh, port. As a demonstration and test, here is a Apple iPhone, and you can see that without a case on, it actually fits really nicely. You can set this onto a desk and uh, watch videos as well as browse the web more comfortably, especially let's say if you're on a longer flight or on a train and you want to watch a quick movie, something like that. Uh, obviously you would now have to plug in a cable and use the USB port since there's no way of putting it onto the wireless charging port and still you know, using it as a media stand. Uh, so the iPhone works at least without a bulky case attached, um, and you know other devices that we've reviewed recently, such as a modern uh, Le Eco or Le TV phone, also works. But as the phones get progressively thicker, the angle becomes closer to 90 degrees and towards this uh, opposite direction, and that's where the uh, angling is not quite as optimal. Uh, here's the Xiaomi phone that we talked about previously. The Redmi has a pretty large battery. You can tell that the angle is getting closer to a straight 90 degrees, and that simply means if you have a table that is, a, you know 
lower in, in height, uh, it becomes harder to use it as a regular media stand. Moving into charging rate and performance, the wireless contact part is actually fairly generous. You don't have to position it carefully. You can actually rotate it along and you can see it's still being charged up. Uh, so it actually works uh, quite well. And when the alignment is right, you'll tell that there's also a pop-up on the display that tells you that the battery is draining. Uh, it tells you that the output is five volt, one amps, which is about accurate. And uh, you know, that's not going to be nearly Qualcomm quick charge speed. It doesn't get up to 2.1 amps. Uh, so that means if you have a phone with a larger battery pack, unfortunately the wireless charging part will take a little longer. When it's charging, the display will always remain on, so you can quickly glance and know uh, what percentage is remaining. So let's try one of the USB charging ports next to show you that, again, I can still charge this first phone while charging up a second one. I'm gonna plug it into the port of this Xiaomi phone, and you can see that the charging has started automatically. So zooming in here, you can see that slight change uh, in the power output. Now, it, it doesn't actually light up both of the displays at once, or both rows. The one below this says five volt, one amp, which is their charging rate for the Qi. Uh, so it only displays one at a time, even though we're technically now charging multiple devices. As aforementioned, charging rates are significantly faster using the USB ports, especially with the 2.1 amps. Uh, so an average phone will be charged up in under two hours, sometimes as little as one and a half hours. Uh, still, I don't think that this has a Qualcomm certified quick charge chip inside uh, because I tried, you know, charging up a QC enabled phone, uh, you know, for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and the percentage compared to a QC charger was still a little bit lower. However, rates were still rather impressive. And again, once the phone reached 100%, it stopped charging automatically. All right, so that's more or less it as, our, as far as our hands-on review of this uh, uh, M10,000 power bank unit is concerned. I think that at this price, it still is a very affordable option, especially since it has a, uh, again, wireless charger component and a kickstand component, which are all unique design elements I haven't seen before on any other power bank. Uh, with that being said, uh, obviously the capacity isn't the largest and the QC charging on this particular unit is gonna be a little slower than on one of the USB ports. Still, if you can set it down on here, maybe on a desk, maybe uh, plugging the power bank also into the wall and using this just as a uh, wireless this charging mat. So you can check out more details about this in our article, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.